Hello, this is Vino. Welcome back to my channel. Um, a few videos ago, I, I made a, um, a video on how to ascend a tree using a quickie, um, using the SRS system, and working my way up just like it was an MRS. Well, like when I did it, I was using a sewn eye, um, and so I, I put the, the quickie inside the sewn eye, and then I went up in that way. But what I wanted to work on today is to do it with, instead of a sewn eye, to use a butterfly, an alpine butterfly, and then, you know, same method, almost a carbon copy of the same video, but just using a butterfly. So let's get to it. If you don't have a sewn eye or a, a, a spliced eye rope and you wanted to advance in this way, a knot that I like to use in a, is an alpine butterfly. And the way that I like to tie it is what I'll do is I'll, I'll grab, I want to have about a foot of length and then I'll do three wraps. I'll go one two and three and I'll get this one I'll cross it to the center and then I'll go to the next one and I'll bring it through both and now what I'll do is snug it up tighten it up and that's your alpine butterfly and I like to have a little bit of a small eye especially when I'm using the quickie so it kind of doesn't rotate on me but that's what it looks like in the front and this is the back of it and here's my length and I've never had this knot run on me it's always stayed so uh, stable it's a midline knot it's a real good knot you put a lot of weight on it and it comes down um, undone pretty easily all right so we'll i'll get set up here and then i'll show you how i advance so what i've done is i've um, thrown the rope over say my beginning branch that i'm going to start with when i'm when you're going to use a quickie what you got to make sure is that the slick pin when you set it up is going to be up against the trunk you don't want it to be um, pressing with this part of the pin so these um, these are the way you open it so push in and push push down and, and push now that's the way you open it so when you connect it you just want to definitely make sure that it'll slide and be up against the trunk so now that I got that um, up in the tree and that'll be my first point where I'm going to start I'm going to pick um, Maybe I'll do about a foot of rope, and now I'm gonna tie my knot. I'll do that same three wrap method. One, two, and three. I'm crossing it, going over, putting it through. And I'm still gonna keep my, my eye really kind of small because I, really, I like the way that, that works. Okay, so I'm gonna set it up to where the slick pin is up against. So I'm gonna take this off, hang on. I'm going to put this inside, then twist it, now I'm going to clip it, now I'm set. So now I'm going to push, pull it up to the top, so it should rest once I snug it where that slick pin, see, it's not touching it, but if it were, it would be up against it. Now, so this is the line that I'm going to use to climb, so now I'm going to get my rope wrench, my favorite not to use is the Mitchell Con. So that's what I'm going to use right now. I'll set it up. I like going wraps downward. So I'll one, two, three. And this is how I set it up. Now what I like to do, um, as I always rotate mine, for me it's always worked better when I use a rope wrench if I rotate it and I finish it like this. Now what I'm going to do set up my rope branch twist this so it falls a little further in notice there's up arrows that's the way it should be set inside the rope pop it in snap it in place all right I'm gonna undo my slick pin here throw my hitch climber pulley on connect back back and now I'll put my carabiner on. I'm putting it in place. Now I'm set. And that's that's how it's ready to go. The next thing I'll do, I'll set it onto my saddle. And I'm ready to proceed upward. So now that I have the uh, rope wrench all set up, I'm going to make my way up to that first throw-in. 
And to do that, I'm just going to put the uh, rope into my jet step foot ascender. Oh, I got to clip into my hitch climber pulley. And that'll, that'll tend my line. So now that I've got to the first tie in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this connected so I don't have to undo it. I'm going to put my lanyard on. Now once I have my lanyard, I'm secure. So I'm gonna take this off and then I'll advance it to the next um, portion. So I'll put some slack in, undo it. Now I've undone it. I'm clipping this so it won't fall off. And uh, what I'm going to do is put a little bit more slack in. All right. Got it over that. open up the quickie and then reattach it okay probably want to switch around just because now on the way that I'm at it's switched a little I'll tighten up my slack all right I still have the slick pin up against the trunk Now I'll advance that. Now since I don't really have to use my ascender, what I'm going to do is just climb up a tree and, and tend my line. So now I'm at my second tie-in and I could really walk up the branches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a little bit toward the tree and I'm going to undo my line here. And then I'll just start to walk up the tree. And as I do that, I'll tend my line at the same time Keeping tension on it. And I'll go over to this side here. Now that I'm at this point, what I'm going to do is I'll lanyard in, slack my line. Now that I have slack in my line, I'm just going to go one more throw up. So to do that, I've got slack in my line. I'm going to go back to the quickie and I'll undo it, take the rope out, lock it back into place. See once I have it like this there's no way I'm going to lose it because this quickie and not, will not go through the, the rope wrench. So now what I'm going to do is advance to the next line. Okay. Now that I got it over the crotch, I'm going to bring it back to me, redo the quickie, clip it back into place, send it up, tighten my line. I'm going to say that this is going to be my final, so I'm going to go one more branch up and then I'll show you how I would set it up so I could retrieve it when I get to the ground. Undo my foot ascender. Now, what I'm saying is that this will be my final tie-in. So what I'll have to do is get my lanyard in. Let me see, yeah. I'll probably put it over the same crotch for now. Now, I'm gonna slack in my line. Now, once I got slack in my line, I'm going to take the quickie completely off because now what I need to do is send the 
the short end, the tail that I've been using to advance with, I'm going to send that to the ground because when I get to the ground, I'll need to retrieve it and that's going to be what I need to retrieve it. I'm going to stow the quickie on my chesty for now and now with this rope, I'm just going to send it all the way back down to the ground. And here we go. So once I hit the ground, I'll give it a couple more feet. All right, looks like it's there. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to making a butterfly. So I'll do my three wraps, one, two, and three, and make the butterfly. All right, here I go. Now that I got it tied. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna go back to getting my quickie. Open it back up. And remember that I'm going to be sure that when I um, install it, I'm going to make sure the slick pin is going to rest against the trunk. Locked it into place. Reseal the line. Nothing's changed. I never did anything to undo my climbing hitch. And then this is the end that's on the ground. That's what I'm going to use to uh, retrieve my line when I'm finished. So put tension on my line. Now that I got tension, slack off my lanyard. All right, now that I know I'm on the line, I can detach it. And then what I'll do is I'll proceed down to the bottom of the tree. Now that I've reached the ground, I'm gonna disconnect my system. But you, you um, just to refresh that, this is a line that I climbed on the whole time. When I went to the top, I never untied this or anything. The only thing that I worked with was a side that had the, the, butter, the alpine butterfly. And that was a side that I advanced. And once I got to that top, now this is that line that I sent to the ground. So on this one, I'm gonna take off the rope wrench and my climbing hitch. This is the line that I was advancing with. So now all I gotta do is pull on this line Oops, there we go. Had a little snub there. And bring it on down. So, you know, what I could have done when I got to the top, that would have been my final tie-in, and then I would want to work the tree. And then when I come back down to the ground, I can retrieve it with the other end of the rope. So grab up my quickie, and then I'll stow it for the next time. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that say you were going to advance with this system and you're going from the ground up and you know you, you, you estimate from the ground you're looking and then you see different crotches where you can stand. It's always better to get a, a crotch above and then rest your body on a, on a branch if you try to advance upward. So what you can do is if you look up the tree and then you can see that maybe there is like a you know this, the distance from this branch from me where there's a branch below it and you think oh yeah I, I can get to the one there and once I get to there I could bring my my quickie back down and then I could throw higher so what you can do is you estimate you know from here to that branch um, it's maybe eight feet so I'm gonna think that you know I'll do my arm length and I would say that might be enough for me to retrieve it once I get to that branch so then I would do the butterfly you know I get it all set up. Okay, so I would be, the idea is that it'd be way on the ground, right? And then I, I see a branch that I could stand on. And what I'm gonna do is I'll connect the quickie and I'll give my, my tail length, maybe eight feet. So when I reach that branch, I'll get the quickie set up. Okay, now that I got set up, I would send my line to where I plan on having my first throw in, right? And I will say that that was a branch and I'm really low. I worked my way up. Now I got to that point where now I think I could retrieve my quickie, lanyard in, and I could throw it higher. 
So this was the tail that I decided to have. So I could easily lanyard in, retrieve it, and then from this point, I could throw higher. And then I would just keep on working in the same way as I shown earlier. Well, there you go. My take on advancing um, with an SRS system using a, an eye and using kind of like a termination end. Instead of using a, a spliced eye or a sewn eye, I use a butterfly. Advance up, send my rope down. And that's a, a technique that I like to use. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.